What's up you guys? So I know I said I was gonna make a handbag in the last video and show you guys how to skive your leather using the Tandy Pro by Cobra Skiving Machine, but I've changed my mind. I have way too many bags and it's time for me to start making more accessories to go with some of these bags. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a leather passport case that you can also use as a wallet and the template for that will be downloadable on my site for you to purchase and make one at home by yourself. There you go. Win-win. So yes, I'm going to show you how to use this machine. It has changed my life as far as bag making is concerned or just working with leather goods in general. So yeah, let's get started. So just to fill you in on this amazing machine, this model is the NP10 Skiving Machine, which is a part of the Tandy Pro by Cobra line of high quality machines. And because I design leather handbags and work with a wide range of leather goods, this is drastically changed the way I work with thicker leathers and made them more manageable to work with. If you're not familiar with the Tandy Pro by Cobra line of machines, I highly suggest you stop by your local Tandy Leather and ask for this catalog. Tandy Leather was actually the first supplier to get me started in leather work, so I will always be a Tandy girl. But let me tell you, when it comes to supplies, tooling, and leather options, Tandy has stepped their entire game up. So I was super excited to find out that they now have this incredible line of Cobra machines for almost every project imaginable. So because I am making an accessory piece to match some of the bags that I have in my shop, I decided to go with this beautiful russet veg tan leather. I chose this because most of the bags in my shop are created with either five, six ounce leather or six, seven ounce leather, which is perfect for me to test out on this skiving machine because the thicker it is, the better. I went with this color because one of the bags that I wear every single day is this color. So it's perfect to have something to coordinate with a bag that I carry on a regular basis. My goal is to keep the same sturdiness and have the leather passport case have some thickness and some weight to it but as I'm sewing the edges I don't want my edges super bulky and thick so that's where the skiving machine comes in so it can thin out just around the edges where I need to sew and we can sew seamless and it won't just be chunks of leather stacked on stacked on stacked if you guys know what I mean okay let's get started so as with all of my projects I like to start out creating my pattern piece I typically design all my pattern pieces from scratch as I like to stay true and authentic to the Nikki and Mallory brand and the Nikki and Mallory style and as tedious and time-consuming as it may be somebody's got to do it right so what better person to do it than me So now that I have all of my pieces cut out, I'm gonna move everything over here to the skiving machine and trim down some of these edges. I decided to do a thinner weight leather for the interior, just because I'm gonna layer it. I still don't want the base to be too thick, but I am going to skive down the edges just a little bit, especially around the base part because the leather is, this is the six, seven ounce leather that we're using. For so before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down in between the blade and this leverage right here because the last time that I used it, oil seeped onto my leather and I don't want that to happen again. So I just wanna make sure there's no excess oil laying around. this guy out the way and wipe down in between here. Now we should be ready to go. My town came out clean, so we should be okay to go. Now this leverage here helps you adjust the distance 
of where you're gonna place your leather. So this test piece of leather, I'm gonna test out first just to make sure there's no excess oil that's gonna get on my leather and to make sure that it is at the level of skiving that I want it to be. This is my third time using this machine, so I'm still getting acclimated with the whole skiving levels. You guys, I promise I get chills every time I put a piece of leather through this machine. It's like putting butter on a hot biscuit roll. It's that great. So I'm gonna take this and just do from here around and the same with the other side. What I didn't do is mark it, so I'm gonna mark it exactly where I wanna start and end so that I have it skived just around the edge that it needs to be. And I did it. So it's a little, it's thin, but I want it a little thinner, so I'm gonna go through again. So I can take more off. I'm gonna adjust this, push this back a little. See? That's much better. So it's really, really thin now. I love it, oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing exactly yet. I'm not a pro yet, but this thing is good. So yeah, that's just an example of how I use the skiving machine. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this edge and keep it moving.
And there you go, after a couple layers of edge coat and some drying time, our leather passport case slash wallet is now complete. Thanks to my favorite Skyven machine for assisting me in creating the perfect accessory to match my favorite bag. I couldn't be more happier with the way this turned out. For more information on the Tandy Pro by Cobra Machines, make sure you go to tandyleather.com.